Radical. You know, 13 years is a long time to be on YouTube. And Matt Pat is saying goodbye. If you don't know who Matt Pat is, you probably heard the catchphrase. If you've been on any gaming channels, hell, even in my commentary, I've used the catchphrase from time to time. That catchphrase goes like this. It's not just a theory. It's a game theory. You've heard different variations on it. Matt Pat has been a very passionate YouTuber. You could tell it reflected in everything he's put into his channel through the years. He has built a huge channel. So it's kind of surprising to me that he would walk away from it. Now, he stated in this upload that I skimmed, it's 25 minutes long, I honestly kind of skimmed it. He stated reasons that he's leaving YouTube. And it makes a lot of sense to me. But it's not going to be the same without him. You know, if you tune into the Game Theory channel, you're used to hearing him. The channel will continue. I don't really care for some of the others. I mean, it's just not the same. Austin, I don't care for that Austin guy. But he, he's passing the torch. He's passing it along to the younger generation, he was saying. And he himself looks quite young. But he said he's 37, which I cannot believe. There's no way, there's no way he's almost 40. The guy doesn't even look out of his 20s. So I guess maybe it's clean living. I'm not sure. Maybe the stress that is associated that most people have with money, he doesn't have. So maybe he looks so young because he's not stressing. Not stressing, full head of hair. Maybe that's maybe that's why he can walk away, because he's financially sound. Uh, he's leaving YouTube, and he mentioned some other projects he's doing, which is, I think, um, Eevee. I'm not sure what that is. My apologies, I did kind of skim this. But I do want to talk about it just a little bit. I'm sure there's many, many other people talking about this that have far more experience with the channel, his channel, than I do. I'll say I really enjoy his channel. I even like food theory. So it's a shame seeing him leave because he was one of my go-tos on a break at work if I needed to work in a quick game theory or something like that. Very easily digestible content he has. Yeah, this was called Goodbye Internet. And he actually cried during it cried a couple different times so you could tell he was just kind of a little bit shook up by it you know saying goodbye to i think it's not much his audience that got to him they saying goodbye to i think it's the craft i i think it's just his creations you know like if you work on something, it could be a YouTube channel. It could be a building. It could be restoring a car, you know. You often can get that same sadness if you're letting go of something. A creation if you're a crafter. I mean, give this guy credit. He's crafted a huge... I mean, Game Theory was huge. One of the biggest channels, like I said, there is. So give the guy all the credit in the world. He built his brand, and now he's moving away from it. One thing I will mention is I got into his comment section, and I noticed that him or the people behind his channel were only harding anime dude, um, Captain Sparkles, who else here? Peanut Butter Gamer. They were only hearting the comments of those that had a million subscribers or more. And he mentioned, talking about, he wanted to leave while he was on top before he lost the passion or the relevancy. Now, we've talked on my channel a whole lot about, you know, what it means to be a YouTuber. And even though this is Mr. YouTuber, I come at YouTube from a different kind of 
angle for me, but not everyone's like me. For instance, he mentioned like he showed charts and graphs of his views and everything like that. And I just come to it from a different perspective, meaning what's important to me and I uploaded earlier this year, it's not anything like that because it's not really a business for me. But there is a, there's a reality where I could maybe see it. Well, we never, it would never be that. There's a reality where I could see it to where, you know, I would grind and grind and grind, upload 20 to 30 times a day and grind and grind and grind. And work on building a brand, get t-shirts, and figure out exactly how I'd be turning it into a business. There's nothing wrong with that, but it just kind of like struck me as just strange. Because you're saying goodbye, and you're crying, and there's all these comments in your comment section, but they don't get a heart. They don't get your heart. Even your staff, people that work for you are not hearting any comments unless the people have over a million subscribers in the comment section. So I just kind of, and I hate to spoil what a lot of you will say, you know, Rick, why are you bringing this up? I mean, how, how could, how could I not bring it up? Because the first thing I do when I go to any channel is to go right to that comment section. And the man doesn't have time to heart and reply to every comment. He's a very, very busy guy. But if you have time to heart the comment of Captain Sparkles, why not, you know, Muhaim244? Never apologize for being emotional. And thank you for all you've created for us. Success stories like yours are the few I can really celebrate. Cassandra? Your channels have been a big part of life, my life since middle school. We'll miss you so much, and the internet won't be the same without you. Shadow B Gaming. A father, a theorist, a YouTuber, no, a legend. Thank you, Matt Pat. I'll miss you, man. I'm happy for you. It might not, might not be what I wanted, but it's what you want, so I'm happy for you. It's just a theory, a game theory. Oh, oh this, this just in some breaking news. Apparently, uh, the main person that's going to be replacing him is not even on his channel right now. It's Pat the Nespunk. And it kind of works because, you know, Matt Pat, Pat the Punk, right? No, nah, I'm just I'm just joshing you. I'm just pulling your leg there. And there's some kind of connection between Pat the Nespunk and Matt Pat, isn't there? Seems like someone told me there was. At the end of this, he tears up again. And he leaves the couch, and there's a simple thanks for watching behind him. I will say, you know, just a classy way to go out, right? But he's not done. It's a countdown. He has nine theory episodes left. Uh, the question any creator has is how long they're going to continue creating. Back in 2020, I said goodbye. But the terms were a little bit different because, you see, uh, I ruffle feathers. I speak the truth. I grew a lot of enemies late 2019. And just so happened, basically, not really going into it, but uh, there was an attempt to take my channel down. And I said goodbye. And I was thankful to be able to say goodbye before I thought... My channel was being taken away, but it wasn't. So I'm thankful to still be here entertaining all of you. Even the ones that leave a comment for me under a million subscribers. I still appreciate you. You know, you don't need to have a million subscribers. Okay. I'm just, I'm going to leave that go. I'm going to leave it go. But, but maybe, maybe, come on. Can you guys heart some of the comments? Maybe that are from just regular old Joes and Jills that don't have a million plus subscribers. Because to me, it just kind of looks like, I don't know, like there's a tier system, you know? Like it's all these YouTubers are together in their little circle. And I mean, come on, come on, just open up the circle. Let some people in, get in your comment sections. That's what I think. But yeah, great channel, Matt Pat. Great run. And I wish you all the best in the future, man. 
I'm seeing several variations of one comment in Matt Pat's comment section. YouTube's not going to feel the same without you. It's not going to be the same without you here on YouTube. I'm pretty sure if I went over to Tom Scott's upload, I'd see variations of that same comment also. In fact, I'm seeing in the sidebar here, Meet Canyon, some others. I'm sure beloved YouTubers are deciding to leave YouTube right now in 2024. Why is it though? Matt Pat, Tom Scott, beloved YouTubers. We're having to see them leave their parting YouTube here in this year of 2024. But there's a big return that happened in 2024. Gerard the Completionist. He came back to YouTube. He had the gall, the audacity to come right back to YouTube after committing fucking charity fraud. I'm sure you know the story there. So why is it the one dirty, low-down, piece-of-shit motherfucker that shouldn't be on the platform is not going anywhere? 